Thank you for joining us for our biology video over biomolecules, part 2, proteins and nucleic acids. Remember in our previous video we discussed carbohydrates and lipids, two other classes of biomolecules or organic molecules. As we move into our examination of proteins, it's important to note that they are organic, so they do contain carbon and hydrogen. They also contain oxygen, and these are the three elements we saw present in the carbs and the lipids. However, proteins also possess nitrogen and usually sulfur. What do proteins do for us? Many proteins serve structural roles, for example, in our muscles. Some proteins may also act as enzymes, which are substances that help speed up chemical reactions. Some proteins are even embedded in the cell membrane and help with cell transport. We call these protein channels. Proteins are polymers made up of monomers, and the monomers of a protein are known as amino acids. Examples of where we can find proteins are in our muscles, our hair, cartilage and nails, and common food sources that we can get protein from include meat, poultry, pork, and eggs. Here we can look more closely at this monomer, the amino acid. All amino acids have similar structures, a central carbon atom, an amino group characterized by ends or nitrogens with hydrogens, we also see a carboxyl group, and this is a carbon with a double bonded oxygen and a single bonded oxygen. There's additionally a hydrogen group. And what makes each of the 20 amino acids different is this variable R group. R just represents something random that can hang off the side. As we look at these 20 different amino acids, you'll notice the shaded region is that variable R group, and it's different on every single one. Otherwise, they all have the amino groups, they all have the carboxyl groups, and they all have the extra hydrogen off the side. So the only thing different about each of these 20 amino acids is, again, that variable R group. And that gives each amino acid a slightly different characteristic. Ultimately, if you bond these amino acids together, you'll build what we call a polypeptide chain or a protein. Do you remember what kind of reaction would be used to join monomers into a polymer? That's right, dehydration synthesis. For the big ideas of proteins, again, what was their monomer called? Amino acids. What are some of the functions of proteins? They can act for structure, support, some are enzymes, and some are protein channels that help with cell transport. And some examples, muscle, hair, cartilage, and nails, a lot of our important structural features. The final category of organic molecules is the nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Notice that the only two groups of organic molecules with nitrogen are the nucleic acids and the proteins. This makes them easier to recognize when we're looking at pictures. And the phosphorus found in nucleic acids is a dead giveaway. So what do nucleic acids do for us? Well, nucleic acids function in storing our genetic information. Nucleic acids make up our genetic instruction manual that tells our cells how to build proteins. The monomer, or the subunit, of a nucleic acid is called a nucleotide, and each nucleotide also has subunits. Each nucleotide is made up of a sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base. The sugar we can recognize as being a simple ring-like structure. Here we see a 5-carbon or pentose sugar. The phosphate group is easy to recognize because it does have phosphorus, or a P, in it. And then the nitrogen base is a double ring structure, or sometimes single, with nitrogen groups in it. So again, a nucleotide is the sugar, the phosphate, and the nitrogen base. And if many nucleotides join together through dehydration synthesis, it will form a nucleic acid. 
The examples of nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA is ribonucleic acid. So the N and the A in the names DNA and RNA actually tell you that they are nucleic acids. One last quick review. What is the monomer of nucleic acid? Nucleotides, good. What are the compounds in a nucleotide? These are the sugar, the phosphate, and the nitrogen base. And what are the functions of nucleic acids? They store genetic information and help us know how to make our proteins. And the two big examples, DNA and RNA. Thanks so much for joining us for this biology video about proteins and nucleic acids.